Hi, and welcome back to Ask a Pennsylvania Dutchman. My name is Chris LaRose, and this here is Douglas Maidenful. It's like I'm a professional wrestler. He, you entered the... the ring, Douglas. Ah, well, let's go, bro. He's here to grapple with the scrapple. Ooh, that's a he's, great... He's here to really throw down a pan of scrapple. All right, so we cheated a little we bit. We cheated a little bit. Chris showed me the questions ahead of time, and I I'm had scrolling. To. I, yeah. I was nervous, guys. I looked at this. I saw so many of them. I thought, what we am I going to do? I need backup. We conned no less than 10 different viewer questions about Scrapple. 10 of them. Now, listen. That's not an exaggeration. Of, that is Doug, not... Doug exaggerates everything, and this was an understatement. It might even be more than 10. It's probably close to 15. Very early on in this series, and I'm talking at, in our infancy, like v episode three or four, we did a question on Scrapple. Back we, in our we, YouTube when we, when we were young, and I didn't have so much gray. So we've already talked about Scrapple. And I, but I, what really blows me away is that these people keep asking questions about it. And you know, maybe, what, what do you think it is? Why is there such a fascination with Scrapple? And I'll throw you some of these questions. One, uh, two or three people asked, Doug, what do you put on your Scrapple? Tell everybody what the gospel Didn't says that we you do should. That? Well, we do that when we do our live show. If we go and we get a, a live show, we often bring this question up because we, never, we get the crowd involved. We never said it on the video. Well, I think we did on that very first one way, way long time oh. ago. The correct answer is always ketchup. Yeah. Moving on. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's all it needed. Then we get questions from people like, well, <laughs> what's your favorite brand? Well, Duna Beta, that's like that's... saying, uh, who's your favorite kid? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you. The first one, well, the, the first one. Yeah, it's always the oldest kid. No. Uh, uh, so here's my answer to that question. Because some of these people are, I know that there are people, you know how there's car people out there that are Ford loyal or Chevy loyal? Oh, well, that's a four barrel. Uh, blah, blah, blah. And the only the best cars are made by Ford and blah. Well, there's people out there that Scrapple. are like this about Scrapple too. And I know no matter what I would say, people could I'd seriously be wrong. fight about this. I'm telling you what, if we're getting 10 questions about this topic, you know darn this well. This is like the Hatfields and McCoy battle here, but yeah, it's like so the ketchup and the and the Here's syrup. my answer to what's my favorite brand. Any. Any brand. Any. Scrapple. I don't care if you're buying, you know, stuff in the grocery store. Personally, I will say this. Dietrich. And I'm not going to, I'm not, not that I'm knocking grocery store uh, brands that are out there like Rap and I don't know what, there's a bunch. I don't even know them all. I only ever get my Scrapple from a butcher. Now that's my personal choice. And personally, whenever we butcher a pig at my farm, we raise pigs, we always get our Scrapple made by Dietrichs in Crumbsville. They're friends, the family, they do great work, I like their Scrapple. So, I like to support them. Mom and pop business, there are butcher shops I all get over. I from the Highway Meat Market on Highway Meat, there you go. Those places, I think you're going to get, I'm going to say it, a little bit more of an authentic Scrapple. Not saying that the stuff in the grocery store is bad. It's because just not any good. scrapple is better than no scrapple. Any right? scrapple's better than no scrapple. That's but what some I just of the, said. Some of the stuff in the in the supermarkets just is not is, quite. In there. my opinion, maybe they're not quite as doesn't have quite the same taste, right? Plus, if you get it from a local butcher, they can probably tell you where the pork is coming from too. Mm -hmm. Oh, these pigs were raised, you know, a mile away or two miles away. I like knowing that better than just in the grocery store grabbing a plastic wrap thing of scrapple and who knows where those pigs came from. Plus, you're supporting, you know, It's your local already butcher. a mystery what's in yeah. there. You don't want to have any extra question. So, again, my favorite brand, A, whatever I'm eating is I'm happy with, usually. I mean, I've had some scrapple that's been homemade by people that gave me as a gift. Uh, sometimes a little too much pepper or sometimes not enough. And, you know, it's always, it's an experiment. Scrapple's an experiment. There's no, you know, but there's no right brand. Okay, there, I answered mm. that. And I'll retract my ketchup. For me, it's ketchup. But my wife is a syrup person. And there's people that are apple and butter And you married people. her anyway. I did. <laughs> and, you know, our kids, my daughter, she ended up being team ketchup. And my son ended up being team syrup. Wow. So we live in, in a symbiotic relationship. Yeah. So, you know, there is no right answer. Come on, that'd be me like saying... I, for me personally, it's I like ketchup, but that's what I like. Because you, you know? got to get your vegetables in. Yeah, you got to get your vegetables in. That's right. A little bit of tomato naan, then it's good for you. So, 
you know, what else is there to say? I have, we appreciate all these Scrapple questions because we got them, baby. I'm telling you. I don't think we've ever had a video, Doug, where we answered ten questions at, at the one same time? time. No, no. Well, that I don't makes think the so. list pretty much empty now. What are we gonna do after this one? Well, the first thing before you email us a new question is go out and get some good Scrapple. Mm-hmm. And go to a local butcher shop, one that you've never been to. Maybe you've driven past it every day and you're like, one of these days I'm going to go and stop in there. Just do it. Just Make do it, it today. Go to Dietrich's. Go to, what's the name of your place? Highway Meat Market. Highway Meat Market on 422. There's tons of these little butcher shops all over the place in, 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 you know, in Pennsylvania Dutch country. Go in. Talk to the butcher. Maybe you pick up some other meat too. Pick up some summer sausage while you're in there. Some or Lepnin bologna. Some Lepnin bologna. Lepnin bologna. And, you know, start a relationship with your local butcher. That's a good relationship to have, buddy. Right? Oh, I think so. Yeah, I think so, too. It's bringing back community. It's the same as, like, going to the local farmer's market and getting a connection with the local farmer that you're buying your produce yeah, why from. Yeah, should, why should the vegetables all get the attention? Right. We should get the butcher meat? some attention, yeah. too. They just can't bring all the meat out. Show your the... meat a little attention, yeah. too. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yep. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's my advice on Scrapple. <laughs> There's probably nothing more iconic Pennsylvania Dutch food than, than, than Scrapple and Shoe Fly Pie. I just realized I think the through that, Doug, that the, the farmer's markets are really giving the butchers the short end of the stick. Because well, there are some... Now listen, there are some farmer's markets now that have butchers there, too. Yeah? Yes. Wow, that's Go something. to the Leesport Farmer's Market. On a Wednesday in Leesport there in Berks County. And there, that's a big market, just like Green Dragon in Ephrata. And there are local butchers there, and you can get Scrapple from them. And produce from local farms. You know, I've mailed Scrapple to people. Really? Mm-hmm. How far did you mail it to? To Montana. And it made it okay? Mm-hmm. It Hi didn't Highway Meat Market shipped it for me. I got a little a tin of it. Well, you know... They packed it in uh, dry ice, I think it was. Dietrich shipped it over. Dietrich ships as well. If you're living in California and you're watching this video and you are homesick and for some good scrapple. And you're jonesing for that mystery. Here meeting. are two options that we just shared. And there might be more out there. But if you go to Dietrich's website, does that highway meat market have a website? Well, you can call them, find the phone number and call them. They'll ship scrapple to you. Mm -hmm. Do no better. What would be better than going to the post office? And you get this box. And you, you bring it home, it is. and you open it up, and it's Scrapple. And then the light just glows, Whoa. and it's angels singing, and you reach in there, and there's a tin of scrap. Like and, it's like the Lion King moment. And uh, I can't, yeah, I, I, yeah, I can't quote, I can't quote the name, but I. Not, this is going to be sacrilege to some Pennsylvania Dutch people, but we have some good friends that are vegetarians and vegans, mm. and there is a vegetarian Scrapple. Now, I'm not saying I'm going to run out and try it, but our friends that are vegetarians and vegans have tried it for me What'd and said say? it was okay. That's they said, not you know, bad because most vegetarian food is only okay anyway. So right. <laughs> Now we're going to anger all our vegetarian friends out there. Well, if they can prove me but wrong, I'm telling I'll, you, I'll, I'm I'll try you. any food. I'll try anything. So if they've got a there good are no recipe, barriers I'll now. Eat it. There are no barriers now holding you back from enjoying Scrabble. Nothing. Scrabble worldwide, around the world. That's that's the key to global peace and harmony. Yeah. Because everybody will want to take a nap after eating it. Yep. Yeah. Or it could start World War Three because it's ketchup versus syrup. For and apple butter running in from behind yelling as well. Yeah, that's a tough one. I don't know if we'd want to spread it around the world or just let people find it on their own. I think we I think we just keep it among ourselves and let it kind of like seep out. Be kind of like a scrap of black market, you know, underground people looking for it, speakeasies where you got to knock on the bookcase and it opens up and you go underground and there's a, a candle lit table and there's scrapple tins all over the place and mm. Yeah. I think we came on to something here. We always come on to stuff. If hey, only we to... did something with right. these we ideas, you know? These brilliant ideas and then we never follow through. We'll work on it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now listen, as Chris said, the bag of questions is getting pretty darn empty. 
Yeah. So you gotta send us some, all right? We're we're getting we're getting scared now. We are getting a little we're scared. We're quaking in our boots. We just answered ten questions at once. We we could have dragged that one out for three or four years. We could have, but, we just, but we that's not fair. It. That's we, not fair. You right. gave it to you all at once. That's who we are. We are givers. Yeah. Yeah. And we gave you ten Scrapple questions. So send us questions. Send we, us questions. The anything email you just, want. That's right. That's right. No more Scrabble questions for a while. You know, what? I've I've had people. I went into the the uh, railroad diner in Richland, and I was identified by some people who you watched were, our our the videos. Correct for the correct word, I think, is you were spotted. Uh, spotted. I guess. Yeah. yeah well, I so was, somebody came up to you. It was two somebody's. Yeah. They 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 asked me to sign their receipt. Yeah. But. What was I going to say? There's something about know. this. There's something about Scrapple. And something. Oh, I can't remember now. You just wanted to brag to the well, people. Well, no, I, you... I had a segue that I was trying to get on there, but I couldn't figure out how to do it now. you got to remind me of these things, Doug. My, my memory ain't I so didn't good. know you were spotted. Yeah, well, somebody came up to me and said, hey, are you ask a Dutchman. Oh, yeah, I remember <laughs> now. Woo. So... I get this every now and then. Not a lot of folks, but you know, I get some people who say, "Hey, are you Chris from Ask a Dutchman?" I said, "Yeah," and they ask me three or four questions right there. Well, you gotta jot them down in person. But I'm usually in, a, in in route somewhere. But I try to write them down. But I said, "Well, just email us. Email us, and we'll answer every one of them." But they never do. So, email us. Fadamsa. You can't rely on my memory. You just saw in the moment how bad it is. It's not good. If you want your I, question a answered, you gotta I work with send this. it to him. He keeps track. Just send stuff. it to the email. In okay. The Buster PA. Yeah. It's at the end of the video. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. All right. Any other questions we want to do, Doug? No. Oh yeah. I guess we're, we're empty now. Yeah. So. Ten at once. The tank is all. The tank is all. All right. Well, you heard it from the Dutchman. And until next time. Hey nah. Hey nah. Mark's, Mark's good. good. Right, if you have a question, you have to email us at busterpa at yahoo.com.